What's going on guys, it's your boy Torque Crunch, and today we're gonna go ahead and just conclude everything that was announced in the Bankai livestream. Obviously Nelly L Grimjow confirmed to come out very very soon, either end of the month for March and leading into April, mid month, which I highly doubt, or end of the month in April. Uh, but either way, they're confirmed and they're coming out very soon, so that's obviously probably one of the bigger news is. Uh, but there's a, a few other things that already uh, that were also announced on the Bankai live stream. So I'm going to go ahead and like quickly get through them all. Uh, basically, this right here was a little game they went ahead and had on the stream with all the voice actors. And what ended up happening was they went ahead and rolled the dice and blah, blah, blah. I didn't really understand it too much, but basically they were going to go ahead and give us some rewards for it. And you should already have the rewards on the game. So log in, check your uh, your box and you should have like 50 spirit orbs three bbs tickets and some soul tickets and whatnot so go check that out if you want your orbs um though they should still be there for a while but that was the first bit of news um yeah moving on what they went ahead and showed here was just another little quick slide of uh the new Nellyel and grimjow without some of the effects that you saw from the first uh pictures really really cool i mean like i can't say it enough like grimjow looks so badass he has that long white hair which looks really, really cool. Uh, Nelly L has these two big ass horns and I really like like the pink outline on her body, like the design and stuff, it looks really cool. Same with Grimjow, he has like the black, like, I don't know, man, it just looks so, so cool. Um, I can't wait till we see a full body like um, visual of theirs. Um, but yeah, that was like the second little picture of theirs, which is really, really cool. You don't see like, it, they're not as dark as the first picture. After that, they went ahead and showed this right here as well, which was basically Tokinata, the main vill villain in Can't Fear Your Own World. They went ahead and showed his design and kind of like what they went ahead and did when, you know, colorizing everything. And this is basically what you should expect when you see him in the game. This is how he's gonna look in terms of um, just his outfit and the color and stuff, which I think looks really, really cool. He looks really cool, man. He looks like a character that you don't wanna mess with. And he, he genuinely looks like a villain to me. Like he really does. So really, really cool, man. I'm liking how they went ahead and showed this as well. Just, you know, we might not be getting him at the end of the month, this month or any time soon, if anything. But here's a sneak peek, which, you know, I think this should be one of the stronger characters in the game for when he does come out for for a while, for a good time. Next up, this was pretty big. Um, basically, they went ahead and announced that Can't Fear Your Own World will obviously be coming out to the game as well in April, I believe. They did mention that it would be in April, I believe. And so uh, I think this should come along with the new banner. Um, it would only make sense, right? And so what this will have is more opportunity for spirit orbs for all of us and also just the story mode we want to see the story right so um we're gonna get spirit orbs off this which i'm very very happy um i want to see that you know and i want to have like the experience of the of the can't Fear your own world novels obviously it's not going to be the legit experience that you would get from reading the books but i think it's a, it's a start definitely for sure so uh very excited for that um, right after that, they went ahead and also announced another thing. Um, this right here, this is kind of like not announced, but they showed us this little color panel with uh, Hikone and Tokinata. And I think this looked really cool. And this kind of like rose a lot of questions for me because it's like they are novel characters, right? This is from the Can't Fear Your Own World novels. They're not, it's not manga, right? Where you get pictures on every page. This is just writing right it's a story and there's a few pages with a little bit of art they went ahead and like did this for us and they said that this is going to be something we'll see in the in the in the game what my thoughts are is like imagine like this is a big stretch and i don't think this would be the case but i don't know if, if you guys know the game um honkai impact or something like that it's like a waifu mobile game pretty similar to BBS, actually a pretty fun game. I actually play it on the side at times. Um, but they show a lot of like animations that the game developers made and put on the game. It doesn't even have an anime from what I've heard. So I don't know if they would do that with Can't Fear Your Own World. That would be really, really cool. Imagine seeing like a like a fight scene with, let's say Shuhei and Tokinata. Like that'd be pretty cool, but I don't think that'll be the case. But we should be getting some art pieces like this right here with Tokinata and Hikone. I think we should be getting some of this in the story, which is very exciting. 
because we get to see them all in like in picture form which is really really cool another thing that they went ahead and showed which i thought was really interesting was this thing right here the alternate rebirth so um basically this is going to be a little event that is going to come out i believe when the new naliel and grimjaw come out and it's going to be a little story of them uh too right so um yeah they kind of do that already when it when new characters come out though there will be a little story uh event with uh the current characters that are out on the banner um and i think this will just be kind of the same thing but with grim Zhao and elio and so i'm kind of excited to see what this is about i'll definitely read it myself and just see what it's about but um pretty interesting i mean at least it's more spirit orbs at the very at the very least and maybe they're maybe this might have a little bit more of a reward than normal events who knows though we'll see okay and then this one right here was um kind of a shocker and a surprise to a lot of us including myself so this is a banner that they said is going to be coming soon and as you guys see on screen we have our um boy shunsui and jushiro and then we also have yoroichi on the left hand side this one was kind of like i said it was kind of a shocker to me just because i just don't know why they would release the jushiro and a shunsui just like that after we already have an amazing jushiro and a decent shunsui i don't know if that shunsui is amazing but i wouldn't know exactly because i don't have him but for sure jushiro is a very good character already and the fact that we're getting another one of him same with shunsui i just felt like it was a little too soon but i mean I guess that's fine um that yoroichi is the one that's kind of like enticing a bit just because if she does have long stride and flash step she might be a guild quest character right and so if she is that that should be interesting and that would probably be the only reason i would really go into this banner summoning and whatnot but um it said coming soon people were wondering if this is the end of the month people are hoping that it's the end of the month i'm one of those people that wish this was the end of the month for March at least, but I don't think that'll be the case. I think this will be maybe like a, a mid month, next month, or even the following month. Um, but yeah, that was basically uh, another announcement for basically new characters to come out. This one was really weird. So basically they went ahead and announced something that we didn't get too much information on, but it was interesting because it was a whole new kind of function that we're gonna have in the game where it looks like we have like a pet i'm gonna go ahead and just play it out for you guys and you guys tell me what you think because it is a little different to say the least magneto serge Okay, so as you guys see, it was just random and weird, right? We, we've never seen that in the game. So basically, I'll just conclude and say what they went ahead and said uh, when they translated basically what this was all about. Um, it looks like we're gonna be getting in the future, not anytime soon, I would imagine, uh, a little thing where we're gonna have uh, like a character, for example, the first one will be Fishbone D, where there's a little chibi form of them following you along in a quest. I don't know what the heck it's supposed to do. Maybe there's a benefit to it all. Maybe it's just to just to have a pet with you when you're doing runs. Um, it is random and it is something I didn't expect whatsoever. I don't think any of us did. Um, but you know, <laughs> the way I saw it was that it just kind of like freshens the game up a bit. It'll be something different for sure. Um, maybe there will be a reason to want to farm this up because as you see there, there's at the bottom left hand side of that little picture there's like different the different attributes and then there's like a rainbow one which is kind of like what you see when you farm up potions right i don't know if you'll farm up with the with uh what's his name um matt said was that this is going to be like those are going to be like metals that you could use to purchase either the fishbone d character that follows you along or just things um like rewards in there so um 
yeah, it was just random and kind of something I wasn't expecting, but hey, I'll take it. And it's something, like I said, that will freshen it up and hopefully it gives us orbs at the very least, right? Um, I will say this, uh, Kis or Urahara, uh, you guys all probably know him. Um, he's, he's quite popular in the community. Um, he mentioned the fact that maybe this has a possibility of maybe being like a, a thing where like, let's say, what if you care, like take on this character with you on a quest? And what if it gives you extra potions instead of crystal links it's like an up up uh, percentage of drops in potions and i actually like that idea that'd be pretty interesting and cool to have um so i don't know that's an idea right um we'll see we'll see what it is in the future they'll give us more news before it drops i'm sure um in the following months and with that all said, that is basically the end of the video. Um, that was all that we got in the Bankai live stream. It was such a fun stream. Like there was a lot to to really see, and I'm really happy with what they gave us. A lot of people were complaining on the stream, and that's of course that's never going to be avoided. But um, Kalev gave us what I at least was wanting, which was just information on characters that will hopefully come soon, or that will be coming soon. And um, for sure now, I'm going to be saving up because that Grimjow and Leliel are going to be really really cool. So. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts overall. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. Go over there into the description and check out their the live stream because they're the ones that you know do this for us. So go share them, share some love over there, and uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think about all this information. Anyways, you guys take care. Um, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.